I've done a little bit more background research on Kendall Jones, and I'm retracting what I previously said about her. What she is doing is not conservation. It's not helping endangered species. It's self-promotion. And it is a very cleverly veiled attempt at self-promotion. I looked over her Facebook page a few times. I went through the pictures a few times. And the one thing that really makes this obvious, that this is just self-promotion, there's no respect being given to what she's hunting or what she's doing at all, is this just shit-smeared social media ass-kissing. These hashtags everywhere, this support Kendall crap, all these bogus-ass statistics up and down the board, and, to top it off, this ain't the first time she's attempted this crap. She's had this page up for quite a while, actually, and that she used to do is start pissing off vegetarians and pissing off all these other goddamn groups of people in order to stir up enough noise for people to check her page out. Apparently, she'd realized that this was the final fucking nail in that coffin to really get people angry about this. You don't give a shit about conservation. You don't give a shit about endangered species, but you trick people into thinking that you do because you know that these are serious issues in this world, and if you are saying you're fighting on the side of those things whilst contributing to them more, you can trick enough people into supporting you, and you've tricked about 400,000 people's worth so far. Fuck you. All right? Fuck you. You're a goddamn disgrace to this country. And to keep saying, all these people have it wrong, I'm trying to do the right thing. Oh yeah? Then how come your entire opinion of Africa is that it's some kind of exotic playground full of nice tigers and lions, oh, and just a stupid population of people that you need to give money to? Money? Money? You think that money can, can, can solve all the problems in that country? You know, I'll admit, I looked into this thing only a little bit when I made my last video, and I apologize for that level of misinformation there, okay? This bitch is not helping out, and I'm not doing this to kiss ass to the people that are in opposition of this. I am in violent opposition to this. This is bullshit, and it's on its face bullshit. You can tell me until you're blue in the goddamn face that you're doing this to help, but I'll tell you this, if legislation was passed to make it legal to hunt poachers, Oh, there'd be tons of people after you. Trust me. And then how would you feel about it? Oh, I mean, you know, I'm just doing it for sport. I'm doing it for sport. Boom. Yeah, who gives a shit? Okay? You know, it's not right to just kill something for the sake of fucking killing it. And then lie about you doing that and then saying, oh, you're doing it to help. You're doing it because all the proceeds you get from this go back to that. There isn't a shred of goddamn proof I was able to find that you actually give that money back. There isn't. I couldn't find fucking shit. The only thing I can find is that you're a trophy hunter. And it took me a while to even dig that up. It took me a while to dig up the fact that your mom and dad have been doing this kind of crap too. I don't understand. Like, wh why the fuck can't people in this world actually do something legitimately good why the fuck does it always have to be something that's veiled as good but is really just for their personal motivations when the fuck will people do something genuinely nice in this goddamn world that will fucking help it anyway fuck you you ugly fucking chipmunk looking piece of shit i hope you get fucking mauled by a lion all right you tricked me you managed to trick me into thinking you were doing something good and five seconds of fucking research yeah no this is just self-promotion and fucking uh, just uh, be, being vain of the highest order. So fuck you. How the next goddamn time you go out on safari, one of these fucking things bites your fucking arm off? Fuck you.